America is a land of immigrants. Our roots come from different trees. It could be from Asia, like my family, or Latin America, or, or Europe. And America's strength is our diversity, which is the diversity of immigrants who work here, who raise families, and contribute to our communities and to our society as a whole. These are folks who are already here, who are working, who go to our schools, who work, who contribute to our society, yet they're in you know, legal limbo because we don't have a immigration system that works. We see the current immigration policy, this kind of re restrictions they place on immigrations, it literally rips families apart. A friend of mine, her husband left her with three kids and she was working at the factory and immigration goes over there. Immigration took her and those three kids, they don't have nobody to take care of them. No human being should have to deal with that, you know, that when, they, when the family gets separated that they have to leave their children unattended. It's heartbreaking. If these kids are, you know, taken away from one parent, where's the other parent? Where are we gonna place them? They just linger in foster care forever. A lot of the families we work with, the parents work very hard, but they can't access certain services because they're ineligible due to the immigration status. When they come in, they're really sick. They end up in the emergency room, costing you know taxpayers a huge amount of money because they've had no preventative care. If we allow the immigrants to come in and have an easier path to citizenship, we will be able to give them the preventive medicine that they need and stop the costly emergency room visits. The minute I got to this country, I wanted to honor my parents' sacrifice. I had a uh, decent uh, GPA that would allow me to attend UCLA. Unfortunately, due to my legal status, I was unable to apply for college. Once they graduate high school and they, they cannot go to college, they cannot obtain those, those jobs that, um, where they can make more money, pay more taxes. Once you have the language down, once you have the education down, that you can then go and obviously work a great job, whether it's government or private sector. If we were to integrate this 11 million folks into our economy, according to some uh, government figures, we can grow the GDP in the next decade by $1 trillion. They do help the economy a lot. They do a lot of work here, and I believe that it's time for them to become citizens. And whatever way we can make this happen, we need to make it happen, and that's real. We would have loyal people contributing to California who already love working here, who just want to be productive. I believe one of the roles of um, organized labor is to be advocates for social change or social justice. The immigration issue is probably the most pressing social justice issue of our time. This is about working people. This is the ability for us to reignite the labor movement so that we can have fairness in the workplace for all people. Because ultimately these are workers whose labor rights are being violated. At times they don't even get their minimum wage. I agree 100% that uh, ACIU 71 should be support immigration reform. If we can get immigration reform passed, then that's gonna enable us to organize more workers. And the more workers that we organize, that means that it protects our contracts. It's time for our elected representatives to act. Come up with a common sense policy on immigration reform. It is time that we move immigration law, stop talking about it, and start doing some action on it. It's important for each and every one of us to get involved to make sure that immigration reform gets passed. The time is now. <laughs>